The following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. Tonight, with the collateral damage of the pandemic being brought into light at an increasing rate, Sri Lanka may be witnessing the effect COVID-19 has had on our country on multiple fronts. Will the efforts of the government and the people of this nation finally pay off? Is there room for hope for a better future on the rise? Good evening, I'm Suzanne Shanali. Tonight, Adhudarana and The Morning Investigates. The government has stated that it paid attention to balancing the different aspects of the COVID-19 pandemic's impact, including its economic impact and hence the relaxation of restrictions for business activities. While the impact on some industries has been obvious, the world is beginning to understand how some other industries are facing the pandemic as well. Sri Lanka's information technology, IT industry, is one such industry that experienced a diverse combination of impacts due to the pandemic. According to those who spoke with us, even though some IT-related businesses and companies obtained IT-related services are going through a difficult time, certain IT-related businesses have in fact benefited from the environment that was created by the pandemic. According to some industry experts, the Information and Communications Technology, or ICT, and Business Process Management, or BPM, sector is the fifth highest foreign revenue generator. Even though in 2016 the industry had aimed for an annual revenue of $5 billion by 2022, that target had to be revised in 2020 to an annual revenue of $3 billion by 2025. However, the pandemic has now affected these goals according to the industry experts. Information and Communications Technology Association, or the ICTA, Chief Digital Economy Officer Anura Dialvis said the pandemic has actually helped certain IT-related business to grow and that industries such as IT-related education service providers, financial and banking services, and also IT-related health services have grown exponentially. According to him, the telecommunications industry, among several other industries, has grown rapidly, and some such companies have claimed to have achieved a 40% growth after the pandemic broke out. Adding that the pandemic has helped these industries grow during the pandemic period, he said the reason is that more people are starting to use online services as opposed to offline services that were more prevalent before the pandemic. I think IT industry in a whole, uh, not just limited to Sri Lanka, globally, is definitely impacted by the COVID and this pandemic going on right now. However, you need to understand that in the IT industry, when you look at different industries that serving IT by served by IT industry, for example, uh, if you categorize airlines, hotels, uh, and certain industries like that, or the restaurants that have been highly impacted. At the same time, if you really look at telcos, education, health, agriculture, certain industries that use technology, diffuse technology, has really grown in the last uh, one and a half years. So it's a, it's a mixed bag when you look at the impact. He noted that the growth of said IT-related businesses has created a lot of opportunities as well. The decline, when you say the decline, uh, it's it's uh, like I previously said, there is an industry. Some industries have declined. Like I said, uh, clearly, uh, industries like restaurants very much depending on people's uh, you know presence and coming for food, a fine dining type of thing. And uh, if you look at industries like uh, rest, uh, the hotels, the airlines, they are definitely impacted uh, and there's a decline in that. Uh, but that decline can be compensated if you focus uh, as a small country like us uh, with a lot of technology, expertise and capability, uh, like what we do right now from engagement and inter intervention from government and the industry organization is to take advantage of the industry that are growing. So to, to simple to question to, uh, to simple answer to your question is yes there's a decline in certain industries but we can make use of the growth in the other industry to compensate. However, if you look at uh, in terms of what preventing us generating more revenue, bringing FDI, 
one thing is i think we have to have better mechanism and improve mechanism of in engaging with our investor communities which are working very hard today uh, as a whole industry its uh, employees need to be vaccinated now that is again a rapid program to get that because because a lot of employees can work remotely but vaccination is a must for the IT industry uh, to continue to generate this uh, export revenue and also uh, the continuous growth of our workforce uh, to support the global demand that is coming uh, it's again a challenge during this pandemic because a lot of universities are closed however the increased amount of e learning and online learning has increased that so we have to look at much bigger ways to generate our workforce According to Sanjeev Veerawarana, Chief Executive Officer of WSO2, a leading IT-related service provider, the pandemic has accelerated the digitalization of the business on a global scale, and it has not had any negative impact on the industry. He added that in a context where businesses have realized that the world has to move on despite the pandemic and do businesses digitally, the IT industry can help those industries that are willing to transform and that one of the ways to overcome the pandemic is going digital. He said that one of the best examples of IT related businesses that was not affected but rather boomed during the pandemic is the communication software and the app Zoom. I we Zoom was around before. Zoom I can't remember the exact number but they had uh, you know thousands of percent increase in their load. very very quickly you know zoom turned out to be the best video conferencing platform that was around and they would have they might have made it up to that level eventually but not at that speed meanwhile association of it professionals or the aitp chairman engineer kapil renuka pereira also expressed their similar opinions about certain it related businesses experiencing more severe impacts due to the pandemic he noted that the impact of the pandemic on the it industry should be understood at the global level and that clients have started spending less he added that this has in turn resulted in even larger companies cutting down on their expenses he noted that the software industry however has been thriving during the pandemic as more clients started using software to continue their work during the pandemic you can see that uh, even in sri lanka previously there were some social issues uh, social people were reluctant to use these it tools but today it's very common and everything happens online and even previously some it companies were not working from home and those policies were not there but they have developed them with the time because of the requirement he said adding that 2020 around 800000 new internet connections were obtained by internet users he added that the state of access to the internet however is not the same in all parts of the country Pereira said the sudden increase in internet use and work from home concepts was already taking place even though the pandemic expedited it. Despite all the negatives of the pandemic not all has been for naught it seems. However, can Sri Lanka effectively harness the situation to provide greater results on the long run? Find out next right after this break. Welcome back to Investigates the experts shed some light on the long term changes the pandemic is likely to cause as far as the IT industry is concerned here's the rest of our investigation Veera Varuna noted that according to certain studies before the pandemic only 20% of the workplace had claimed that working remotely is possible however now 80% of them claim that it is possible Also there are companies that recruit people from Sri Lanka to work for international companies which again involves working from home or remote working environments In this context he added that one of the long term changes the IT industry is facing is more people tending to work from home or remote areas 
He said that this situation will also lead to more foreign and international companies to compete with the local companies to hire people from Sri Lanka and that it is going to be a huge change. So I think I think there are some changes that are going to come out of this, mostly related to uh, the work environment, what is what was considered not possible before, now considered perfectly normal, uh, will have a significant impact. And then, then uh, on the consumer side, you know, we have you know grandmothers and and you know fathers and mothers and grandfathers all buying things online that wasn't there before. Uh, they had no choice, so they somehow figured it out. So that's going to accelerate all aspects of commerce, all aspects of transactions to go more and more into digital, you know, whether it's banking or just buying something or paying a bill. We have no choice. We pay it online. So that's going to continue and pick up far more traction. Speaking of the long-term changes, Diavis reiterated that the pandemic is more likely to affect certain IT-related businesses, not all industries, and that those industries will take a certain limit time to recover. We need to find a way to shift our workforce and focus more as a country to go to those industries that are rapidly growing. Uh, so the decline will not be impacting. Secondly, we need to look at new market accesses. Uh, so as a government, we're intervening a lot with the industry associations to find more business opportunities and intervention through that to find new markets. And also, uh, these are golden opportunity for investors and, and uh, government to inter intervene and try to grow the uh, new companies we call small and medium scale or startup scale ups, because that's also bring uh, products that can be sold internationally. So in a nutshell, in a summary sense that yes, there is a decline in some industries, but if you can shift our focus to those industries that are growing and create that opportunity, it's going to be a huge opportunity for country to grow and prosper and particularly access new markets. Meanwhile, Pereira added that even though the overall global IT industry is booming due to the pandemic, Sri Lanka's IT industry has had to face certain issues, especially when obtaining important equipment due to the foreign exchange-related matters. He noted that this has placed the IT industry in a very difficult situation as most of the equipment they require has to be imported. Almost all industries that were affected by the pandemic have in the recent past pointed out the importance of the government and financial institutions as well as investors extending their support to revive the businesses. The experts we spoke to also expressed similar sentiments and said that financial support for IT-related businesses that were affected by the pandemic would help the revival of those industries. Primary, one of the primary things we hear from the particularly for the local uh, industries that uh, at least mid, mid size to small size is working capital support. Uh, that's one thing that the, the industry really require. Uh, and, and some of the startups and scale ups require uh, financial support to go to their next uh, stage of growth. Uh, plus, uh, also, uh, if you look at uh, a new financial scheme, now ICT also introduced a financial credit assessment framework that can help start up and scale up and a lot of banks have come forward. So that's another one. And also new market taxes. Uh, again, ICTA, BOI, EDB, uh, and the industry bodies working together to create market access for our, our industry. So those are the activities that are happening. And those these are the ways that government and industry organization can support the local industry to grow during this pandemic. He also understood the importance of vaccinating those in the IT industry in a context where most of them are young people. Everyone has to get the vaccination because you have to remember industry is relatively young industry in Sri Lanka. And also the workforce that generate the foreign revenue is also relatively young. Like some of the people, mostly you won't be surprised it's under 30, uh, majority of the population in IT industry. Meanwhile, Veeravarana added that the IT industry is a broad industry and that even though certain companies were not affected due to the pandemic, there are a lot of companies connected to the IT industries who might need external assistance to get back on their feet. Again, some of those would have been affected the first year, but really 2021 onwards, there's really no reason why people should be affected that much. Uh, so, and then there are other aspects of the IT industry, people who bring, bring equipment, sell in Sri Lanka, uh, <clears throat> you know, operate various services for companies and so forth. A lot of those would be negatively affected. So the part of the IT industry that is focused on the Sri Lanka market 
would definitely have had some significant negative impact. Because for example, if you look at us, we have we were running an office for you know seven and a half to people. Uh, we don't have the office open right now, right? We're working from home. So that means the people who provided various kinds of services, including IT services for us, are getting zero income. So I think for companies that are affected, the, the companies that are focused on the Sri Lanka market, you know, Sri Lanka is also going through multiple economic challenges right now. So, uh, so there, there is a, a providing digital transformation capability to the Sri Lanka industry, the Sri Lanka market is critically important. Whether it is government or, or private industry, it's extremely important. So we can't lose those companies. We know the, need those companies to continue to be able to provide those services. And what I think will have to happen is those companies will need some assistance to stay around and be able to keep doing that because otherwise we'll have a situation where all of our best capabilities are sold outside and you know we don't get uh, you know we, we don't have any any room left here and that will retard our entire economy because we won't be able to go digital in the economy because we don't have the capability here so uh, uh, i think for those companies uh, you know selling outside is a survival game and it is it is a viable survival game but uh, we can't lose the fact that we need these companies to work in the Sri Lanka market as well. And we need a way to get those uh, companies going. So I don't have a, a quick fix answer for that one. It's not easy. Uh, I think there is a role for government there to provide some assistance. Uh, as long as the companies commit to continue to service in the Sri Lankan uh, economy's needs for digitalization. In terms of opportunity, in terms of uh, business, things are really booming. So I think that's that's a great uh, kind of testimony for the industry. But uh, at the same time, when you take um, the pace of growth, right, and if you take the industry, we, have, we talk about two main divisions. So one is called uh, products and the other is services. So when you take services, that is where you have, you, you kind of sell the skills, the talent, the time of people, and, and that is what your company Whereas when you take products, you build something, which is your IP, which is a platform, a digital uh, platform, which in turn generates uh, revenue for you. Now, while Sri Lanka has done quite well in the services space, I think we can still do a lot more in the product space. As industry experts pointed out, even though some IT-related businesses have in fact benefited from the increase of use of online services among the people and businesses, some are hanging by a thread. The worrying fact is that these affected businesses have the potential to affect unaffected businesses in the long run, especially due to Sri Lanka being a country that imports equipment necessary for the IT industry. This is another industry that requires the government's support as it is an industry with a huge potential which was booming before the pandemic and necessary steps have to therefore be taken before it is too late. Thank you for taking the time to join us on Investigates. Investigates will return next week with another matter.